Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. I was just doing some work on some 129 Robertsonian translocation. 129 Robertsonian translocation is recognized as the most prevalent chromosomal anomaly in cattle, with a vast distribution across breeds. Various types of chromosomal translocations have been reported, all associated with low fertility, but I'll let my assistant Vicky do the explanation in detail. Thanks, Doctor. In 129 Robertsonian translocation, a cow inherits a genetic anomaly which involves the longest and shortest chromosomes of the bovine genome. The two acrocentric chromosomes have broken on the short arm of chromosome 1 and the long arm of chromosome 29, close to the centromere. The subsequent reunion of chromosome arms produces a bi-armed metacentric chromosome. The small segments of chromosome 1 and 29, including the centromere of chromosome 29, may fuse together or may remain separate. However, the important part is that the remaining parts are generally lost during subsequent cellular divisions, although it is thought that they do not contain any functional DNA. So this means that the affected cows have 59 chromosomes instead of 60, like the normal cow would, but they appear phenotypically normal because they haven't lost any functional DNA. But doctor, I don't understand what the problem is. Well, Vicky, I'm glad you asked. Translocations interfere with paragon segregation of chromosomes during meiosis, leading to unbalanced gametes. But let's investigate what this means further. Let's consider a bull who carries the 129 Robertsonian translocation, which would produce six types of gametes. Upon fertilization with a non-carrier female, only two out of the potential six fertilizations will usually produce viable calves. However, Vicky, of these two, only one will be normal, while the other will be a translocation carrier, just like his dad. Unfortunately, the other four gametes will be genetically unbalanced, which means they will be carrying an extra chromosome or missing a chromosome. These are termed trisomy and monosomy, respectively, which are usually lethal in utero. This is because in the developing embryo, chromosomes cannot segregate evenly during mitosis and due to a lack of cell synchronization, the embryo often dies or degenerates. But doctor, how do we know if a cow or bull has a 129 Robertsonian translocation? Well, Vicky, like I said before, cattle carrying the 129 Robertsonian translocation appear phenotypically normal. However, Vicky, the daughters of a carrier bull will appear to have a reduced fertility of about 5 to 10% compared to normal animals.